Ladies and gentlemen, Nez kicked my ass today, but there's things called payback. I just did a run and I wanted to show you this fast running strat where you don't even need to use the light or dark refuge. It's going to require four runners and you got to be quick, but if you can get Nez in this corner, like I'm about to show you, it's free damage, it's safe, and your div user is able to stand on the side of this plate so they don't get hit with the darkness pervading. So I'm gonna try and break this down as easy as I possibly can. So what we're doing here is my runner, my teammate is going to shoot the first node and let me know that they finished. Now I'm going to run and I'm gonna wait for my node to pop up and I'm gonna say, hey, I'm good. And my teammate is going to hit the third node and I'm standing underneath this because I know the buff will be here just because I've ran so much. I'm already headed to my fourth node this guy right here has to die. I'll explain to you how he's going to die. But right now, I'm just going to blind him, and I'm focusing on finishing my run as fast as I possibly can. This is how you're skipping most of the ads. You're skipping most of everything. You're just brute forcing, run as fast as you can, and getting to this node. As soon as I finish here, I'm going to switch off Stompies. I'm going to blind him again, but my teammate's coming over, and... We're going to kill that guy. The reason why is we're gonna damage from right here. Four is featured in this video right now, so check this bake out. Our div holder is going to jump up on the plate that's to my right. We'll stop it right there and put an arrow. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm getting my feast up. Candy jumps up there and he's gonna div. We're gonna weld down here and we're gonna absolutely cook with GLs, proc those blade barrages, those solar supers, shot caller, damaging GLs. We're getting payback. God, this guy kicked my today but the damage is absolutely insane and what's nice is the div holders up there as you see they did not get hit by the pervading darkness we're kind of just moving around making sure he doesn't get us and we smoke him look at the damage ladies and gentlemen this felt so good here watch out thor right now i'm putting on scavengers and i know that my warlock marked a heavy up here so i'm coming to pick up this brick right now i'm trying to get ready and we're gonna do this again now remember usually second phase your runners aren't quick enough and you have to use the refuge not here we're gonna do the same strat she's gonna hit this and she's gonna go to the first node now this might take you some practice to be this fast but i think running fast is probably the most important thing and it definitely helped people day one as soon as i'm done i let her know to shoot and again i'm going to the node because i know where it's going to be if you're wondering what the other runner is doing before my left runner finishes their run they're a teammate meets the runner at the node to get the light buff to come over here and kill that right Colossus. So in this clip, you might see that Colossus die. So right here, I'm already running to my fourth node. We're very quick here. I got Stompies on. I'm going quickly as I possibly can. I could blind that guy. He is annoying, but we're just going to keep it going. I know here that I have one node left. I'm letting my teammates know, hey guys, I got one run left. Right now, everybody's heading over to me. They're leaving all those annoying ads on the other side. I'm going to switch to Star Eaters here. And again, this guy's gonna die he should be right up there yep see he's right there and my runner from light side just killed him because they had the buff and right now we're chilling i'm picking up some orbs i'm trying to get my super i'm so proud of the team for doing so much damage with those gls so what i want you to see here is how my div runner is standing on the edge of the plate and they don't get hit with that debuff from standing on the plate that's the whole purpose of this so since you're standing on the corner Look at the div, it can be on. We don't even worry about standing in the wells. We just want Nez to stay in this corner. He landed on me, big whoop de doo And we're just moving around, throwing some healing grenades. He's confused, he doesn't know where to go, but our div holder is standing up there. I feel like with this strat, I mean, dude, I got my ass whooped by this guy all day. And this was a free clear. It took us 26 minutes to do this, to replicate it. Uh, use this strat, stay on those solar supers, those Nighthawks, those Pyrogales. Two wells to make it easy some blade barrages, some some titans, uh, <laughs> GLs, you can use rock, you could use rockets there. Use whatever you want. But I wanted to get this strat out quick. I know there was a lot to it. Again, just to break this down, you got two runners on right, two on left, and you have two people in the middle clearing those ads and stunning Nez for you. You don't get booped. Do this quickly so you can skip pretty much half the encounter. You don't have to hide in cheese spots. You don't have to hide in a cave. You don't need the stronghold Titan. You don't need to bait. All you gotta do is go stand by that right-hand side and get the dub. Again, I'm gonna let the whole thing play without any commentary so you guys can re-watch the full run and see what we did here and kind of study it. Uh, if you guys are wondering what my loadout was, I'll put a dim link in the description down below so you can see my two loadouts, what I was swapping to. But yeah, enjoy the footage. Thanks for watching. Go get them.
words, total annihilation come to mind. Your calmest moments, your 